हेलो जुगू भाई हाय वेलकम टू सुदीप ऑडियोज चैनल वी आर हियर टू शेयर विद द वर्ल्ड अबाउट यू थिंग्स दैट दे डोंट नो अबाउट यू एंड आल्सो सम इंफॉर्मेशन नॉलेज दैट यू वुड लाइक टू शेयर विद म्यूजिशियंस इंजीनियर्स एंड अपकमिंग आर्टिस्ट हु लुक अप टू पीपल लाइक यू हु हैव स्पेंड इयर्स इन द इंडस्ट्री सी मेन थिंग इज अ इंटरेस्ट ऑफ मीडिया in media how you are contributing yourself as a as a talent now my uh, forte in the sense uh, my passion was in sound in the cinema and as well as the drama drama theater so uh, i learned a lot through real scene Uh, doing real sal with the theatrical artist and then i learned ki even intonations of their dialogue itself is a music then i learned while working with them and uh, basically uh, working is the best learning exercise if you work and parallelly learn through the problem which problem comes which kind of a conversation you are doing with the artist so i started with theater and with theater i which year was it uh, theater kaun se saal mein that was in i started at 1978 79 and we were doing real sort of one musical play in gujarati and uh, before that also i did uh, some theater like tokhar and with paresh rawal and uh, shafi bhai and and lots of arundhati arundhati rai and uh, then we took a challenge of doing a musical play khelaiya and uh, that re- we started rehearsal from 79 and that time best thing was the stay uh, my uh, meri zid aisi thi ki main uh, actor ho se hi gawa instead of uh, that playback and mm-hmm. that that i was not uh, somehow uh, convinced about it. and that time all the uh, uh, actors they were not singer aur usko music ka kuch wo sur nahi tha bits of sense tha lekin gale mein sur nahi tha मेलोडाइन भी नहीं था तो वी कुड डू एनी थिंग एंड डिजिटल टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं थी स्कूल रिकॉर्डर सिर्फ तब बजते थे और ये जो अभी जो ये जो डिजिटल जो चल रहा है वो तो हमारे लिए कुछ एक स्वप्न था मीन्स सी दिस इज आई एम लर्निंग थ्रू माई फ्रेंड्स एंड very late because now i'm 55 and i have started learning this but my friends are champion from them i learned a lot so come back to theater and uh, then i started doing real sal with them and slowly uh, first uh, i i told them ki just imitate the intonation of mine and then you bring your own uh, on uh, uh, on inner uh, feelings so they started and finally in first show i was so tensed and uh, mr surender saudi is a mind blowing arranger and somehow his teacher was a uh, uh, pandit ram prasad sharma he is a pyarelal ji his father and surender saudi that time he was unbelievable talent and in the show he kept some ten paper over the pr and he was learning from the first page and in theater the goof up happens means sometimes uh, you miss one bar and that guy was just reading the score because it was tightly written score we have uh, composed together the arrangement 
the intricate arrangement under the song because this was a romantic play uh, based on a fantastics fantas uh, fantastics uh, they one uh, very old play from the broadway theater and uh, it was adapted by chandrakant shah who the so first show uh, happened the actors they uh, uh, here the actor was uh, paresh rawal then firoz khan who is a very good director amir was helping us out in backstage and that time was he was too young i think i think he was not doing the sh shearing also because he was so young amir khan amir and it was kind of a family it was our family and uh, then first show happened and uh, because of the internal spirit which they poured into the play and it, it was a live show it was not recorded or anything so your musician on stage at that time ha huh? yeah the musician on stage everything live every, everything performing live plus acting and dance and everything was happening and and that time we all learned ki there is some internal spiritual power and one synergy within the team which works and in every artist always there is one spiritual power and one passion uh, towards the art they have to just bring that out and by working and by doing the show and by performing if if they enhance their performing uh, art and performing level now you just see the, the little chap that azmat and uh, salman they are mind blowing so nowadays the talent straight away comes by birth and that time sometimes with the hard work slowly they get used to the the culture of art that there was a case this not necessarily every everyone is gifted but even hard work can because of the hard work the person can go near those spiritual power who can pour a lots of talent within you then i learned through the shows then after the theatrical journey uh, i went into a documentary the media of documentaries now media of documentaries means uh, we did one uh, documentary on music so documentary is a uh, you have to just give a very authentic uh, music because it is it is whole thing is researched and everything and that time i went through a uh, lots of uh, history of music the pandit vishnu digambar ji bhakande and uh, because uh, you you can't compose on your own uh, anything you have to just learn the history and which kind of music was there in uh, primal time and how it it has grown up to here up to the modern music hip hop and rap and electronica and so uh, uh, and that time i learned uh, designing the soundtrack of the cinema and designing the sound means soundtrack in cinema the media of cinema can also enhance the mood and the intensity of the scenario so uh, uh, for example uh, i help in a soundtrack of a parinda with uh, vinod chopra in which uh, we used the influence of western classical music and we edited entire film with western classical music and when barwanda saw it he told us ki certain kind of a passage can't be recorded in india you need a very strong philharmonic orchestra so he uh, he used some theme of the song and then he composed the theme of the nana patekar in parinda that his uh, that psyche and uh, his is that paranoia 
about the fire and everything mm -hmm. that Barbanda composes and Barbanda is himself is a school means even a small meeting with Barbanda you can learn a lot and especially you can learn his intensity because he was also a sound designer he uh, and I also learned initially through his music only I used uh, lots of recorded sound effect and that time there was no sampler there was no synthesizer it was a very realistic sound and then you boost it through some analog processor and because that that thing was there that time in in uh, earlier 80s so we did uh, uh, three films on a painter and uh, for example uh, one film uh, was made by arun khopkar figure figures of thought the uh, figure of figures of thoughts now it was about three painters vivan sundaram nalin milani and uh, our baroda's uh, painter bhupen kakka so he used poetry and the painting and then piyusha created a textural effect on the same painting when when camera is moving he has used the different different kind of a color texture by changing the aperture on this spot on the camera means slowly the painting becomes gloomy and that the changes of aperture it, it becomes dark again certain spot becomes bright and that kind of a texture of a visual open our mind into okay, how now soundtrack should be done so uh, nowadays uh, all the modern arranger are using lots of textures uh, for example texture is not not the arrangement but the texture of sound is uh, you are adding one frequency which creates a kind of a required effect on the on on the on the arrangement or on the music or on the any, any tonal corridor in the pads and so that we learned through the lots of texture of the colors and uh, we did three uh, documentaries with arun khopkar and then one documentary i did with mani call uh, two the two documentaries one is a before my eyes which was uh, uh, all helipad shots in a kashmir in all 12 different uh, season it starts with greenery water and ends with the snow and again piyusha gave a texture in a visual of a kashmir and that to enhance the the space and and as the spiritual power of the uh, god means who creates the world and the beauty and uh, we used lots of tibetan uh, chants and monks and uh, then uh, we had one record on the meditation the rain falling on the pine trees and the sound of boat the rhythm of the oar and uh, uh, so we used as a as a symbolical sound in the visual which were and then i came to advertising world where the all sequencing and everything started so i did a lots of job with uh, salim suleiman and uh, that time they were too young but loaded with unbelievable talent unbelievable talent and i learned a lot through them because they were in deeply into the the technology of uh, the keyboards and the internal sounds and the sequencing and and the the taking out the soundtrack from the keyboard ki how how you use texture and those type in uh, in earlier uh, in in i think around 87 88 or something and uh, we did one background score of maya maya memsa 
where the multiple keyboard started taking place actually the uh, roza by uh, ar rehman that kind of a sound we used earlier in the documentaries on the background because salim's father was providing all over the in all over india i was providing the keyboard so salim was uh, he he used to always uh, the newer keyboard and he will play and he will learn through him and so there we used uh, lots of uh, textural background music in uh, maya memsa and then advertising so i work with lots of uh, champion of uh, advertising media uh, salim suleiman uh, rupert fernandez who uh, composed the uh, vodafone this hutch you and i it's a beautiful word and he he is a amazing uh, composer and arranger then uh, i work with clinton serejo who is master and a master of uh, uh, harmonies and uh, abstract harmonies and uh, all uh, uh, different kind of a uh, and very good singer also and unbelievable arranger and a keyboard player and a very spiritual very spiritual in music so we do means uh, the main thing ki you should work and then learn through the media and how to upgrade yourself like electronics ki in electronics it was pentium 100 and now it is some 16 core and 32 core and it goes up to 64 core so every artist should learn from the work they should be very open with all kind of ideas uh, according to me nothing is fixed in any kind of media it's kind of a how how you grow with this subject and how subject grow with the your help of talent that should be the motive and uh, yeah mainly uh, so and mainly hard work hard work matters and uh, and the belief and the love towards your work